Imagine this, you apply for a Databricks engineer role and the recruiter spots a shiny Databricks certified data engineer associate badge on that front page. Their eyes lit up, okay? Not because it's a nice badge, but because they know that it means one thing. You can handle real data at scale. Let's be real. Are Databricks certifications still worth it? Because they used to be worth it. They were harder to get compared to, let's say, Azure ones. I can give you the cop-out answer and say it depends. That's an easy one because there are pros and cons to everything, but let's break it down and see what changed. Because the scales used to tip on the pro side. I'm Dan Williams, I'm a Databricks MVP and the Partner Solutions Architect Champion. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the real value behind Databricks certifications, which ones are actually worth your time, and also what employers are really looking for. And this is important because in the last years I've been recruiting for Databricks engineers and I've seen my fair share of candidates. Listen, I'm just gonna say it. Certifications alone will not get you a job because certifications aren't a way to measure skills. Everybody knows that. Recruiters know it, you know it. But what you can do is to try and signal that you know your stuff. Certifications are a way to do that, okay? To suggest that you understand distributed systems, that you know Spark, that you know Delta Lake, Unity Catalog, and pretty much every Databricks technology. And that's your job, okay? To make yourself look as good as you can. So are certifications still worth it? Maybe, if you meet two conditions. If you're already working and you're hands-on with Databricks technologies, or if you're already working as a data analyst, data engineer or a technical role, and you're also specializing in one of the three cloud service providers, AWS, Azure, or GCP, because that's your foundation right there, cloud engineering. So you see, you need experience regardless. If you're prepping without ever running a Spark job or creating a pipeline, then honestly, okay, it's not useless, but don't expect much. But if you're already doing good work, even as a POC, it doesn't need to be a production system. If you're doing that, then passing these certifications helps you because you get a bigger reach as you understand the ecosystem better. You need to pass these certifications for yourself, to pass them because you want to get better. And signaling to hiring managers that you know your stuff, that's great, but it needs to be secondary. And there's a third reason why passing these certifications matters. And I'm gonna talk about that in a bit because it's the reason why so many people are taking these cloud certification exams. But before that, it's important to quickly talk about what certifications Databricks offers today. You get these role-based learning paths straight on the homepage of the Databricks Academy. You get data analysis, you get data engineering, you get Gen AI engineering and machine learning. Practically three are primary paths that most people actually follow. There's a data engineer learning path, a machine learning practitioner one, and a generative AI engineering one. But there's only one that I believe a Databricks professional should first choose. I'm gonna tell you in a second, but if you're new to Databricks, a prerequisite is to first start with the Databricks Fundamentals badge. This is an introduction to Databricks and its data intelligence platform. You're gonna learn about different features and products that are offered as part of the platform, and also why these features and products are valuable to companies. It's an easy start to get you to learn about the platform and also to quickly get your first badge, because anybody can get this and everyone should get this badge first. It's used to spread awareness of the platform and its features, and at the same time, this will also help you choose your learning path as well, because you might like specific features and products that are either on the engineering side or on the machine learning or AI side. So what's the track that I recommend to most of you? It's the data engineer track. It's core to any work that you might do. What's the pathway to success here? You can start with the associate level, data ingestion with Delta Lake, how to deploy workloads using workflows, building data pipelines with Delta Live tables, and data management and governance with Unity Catalog. These are four courses now, but there used to be only one, data engineering with Databricks. The fact that Databricks split this into four courses, it means that the material is so important that they needed to add even more depth to it. So in my opinion, the Data Engineer Associate Certification is a core certification that any engineer must have. Data 
or machine learning, okay? Regardless, you need to have the certification. Now, depending on how deep you want to go into data engineering, you move on to the data engineer professional certification. This one used to be one big course as well, but now it's split in Databricks Streaming and DLT, data privacy, performance optimization, and automated deployment with Databricks Asset Bundles. Again, four courses that dive deep into Databricks technologies. This exam was the hardest that I took from Databricks. The questions are designed to be tricky, they give you real-world scenarios, and they throw curveballs into the last line of the question, so read them properly. Now, I like this certification exam because it's the hardest to hack. Nowadays, you get so many exam dumps, so many ways to cheat your way into passing cloud certification exams that when I see somebody that has, I don't know, like four, five, or six associate level badges, I almost find it hard to trust that they pass those exams without simply just memorizing answers. Having a professional level exam shows that the person put in the effort. So in my opinion, if you're a Databricks professional or you want to be considered a Databricks professional, associate exams are not enough. Fundamental exams are for everybody that wants to know about Databricks, okay? Associate exams are now for juniors that want to specialize in either data engineering or machine learning, and professional exams are for mid-level to senior engineers. To put it bluntly, okay, if you're a data engineer with three plus years of experience, you cannot really brag about passing the associate exam. By the way, this also goes for Azure exams. I see so many people collecting associate exams. I get AI engineer, DevOps, 104, 500. That's good because you learn about the basics, but don't expect the hiring manager to believe that you know what you're doing, especially when you don't dive deep into one specialization and you're just scratching the surface on a million topics. Coming back to Databricks, okay? Let's say that you're a machine learning engineer. What should you follow? The first two badges are the same, okay? You get the fundamentals and the data engineer associate. I know you have a bit more work to do because you still have to cover the engineer associate. I told you, that's core. And after that, you can move on to the Databricks Certified Machine Learning Associate exam. And of course, you know, if you really want to show your skills, take the Machine Learning Professional exam. Now, there's a whole lot more other badges that you can get. If you're interested in AI, okay, you can get the Gen AI Engineer badges. You can get the Generative AI Fundamentals, which is at the same level as the core Databricks Fundamentals course. And then you can move on to the Generative AI Engineering with Databricks course and take that exam as well. Keep in mind that this exam is still associate level. So everything that I said about associate exams is still valid for this one as well. So Databricks has a whole bunch of certifications that you can get, but there are only two certifications that employers actually see as being job ready. And those ones are the Databricks Certified Data Engineer Professional Badge or the Databricks Certified Machine Learning Professional Badge. Only these two. Which brings me to the third topic that we need to talk about. What are employers actually looking for? Here, it depends on whether we're talking about industry or consulting. In consulting, we want you to have as many certifications as possible, but still we want you to be specialized. So four or five associate badges and no professional is pretty good, okay? But one or two associate badges and at least a professional badge is seen as a lot better. The reason why we want more certifications is that Databricks, and not just Databricks, okay, also other big players, they want partners that they can show that they have the in-house capability to handle such projects. And certifications, okay, for better or for worse, there's still a way to show that you have at least some skills. But at the same time, they also show that you're interested in learning and upskilling, which in the end is an essential trait of a good engineer. Now, if you're industry, Certifications may be required by your boss or by your organization, and some are even now required to even be considered for some jobs or to get promoted. But overall, okay, industry or consulting, the knowledge required to get any certification, associate or professional, is way below the knowledge that you need to actually work well with Databricks. Listen, we all like certifications and we want people that are certified. But as I said in the beginning, Certifications alone will not get you a job. Actual skills and experience will get you a job. And not just technical skills, okay? I'd rather hire somebody that I believe can be a good cultural fit and the person that has great soft skills rather than a person that only has deep technical knowledge. Not that certifications could ever prove deep technical knowledge anyway. So are Databricks certifications still worth it? 
if you're serious about data engineering or machine learning, if you want to stand out in a stack of resumes, if you actually want to know what you're doing when actually using Spark or Delta Lake or any Databricks technology, then yes, they're worth every hour that you spend studying. In a world where ATS systems screen out even the best CVs, because everybody kind of optimizes their CV, okay? A database certification can get you noticed. You cannot really optimize that, okay? You either have it or you don't. Just remember, badges don't get you jobs. Your personal development gets you a job. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comments what certifications are you looking at. Also, if you like what you heard, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.